would be a point in your career where you would need to accelerate and become a leader. But what does it take to be a great leader? Great leaders are not always found with the title CEO on their name or even manager on their business cards. You can find yourself managing a group of people, running your own business, or even just trying to motivate a colleague. When it seems like many people are born to become leaders, there are many leadership skills you can develop at any time of your life, even if you feel like leadership does not come naturally to you. Anyone can show different qualities of a great leader. All you need to do is empower and be an influence to others regardless of what job position you have to achieve a common goal. Most of all, it's about having harmony in an environment where people are engaged to work together and do great things. So, what are these leadership qualities to become a better and more effective leader? A good leader must be able to connect and inspire others and have a sense of control of shared objectives. Enhancing your capacity to lead others enables you to reinforce your goals as effectively as you may want them to be. It is to overlook how you think and act because your behavior greatly affects others. To lead effectively requires time to enhance personal growth and development. Just because you have the instincts for leadership doesn't make you a great leader. Great leadership is about cultivating principles and disciplines. Rather than waiting and expecting an instrument or tool to assist you, consider making practices to expand your leadership proficiency. Here are the things that leaders actually do, so make sure to keep them in mind. Number one, they work on their character even harder than their range of abilities. I used to believe that being a leader was all about your skill set, but it is not. It's the other way around. Ethical breaches, moral gaps, and character imperfection are responsible to make skilled leaders out of play regularly. Great leaders know that character, not proficiency, distinguishes your level of capacity to become an effective leader. So, they try to work even harder when it comes to their moral behavior, which enables them to grow and do better in workplace. Number two, Being clear. Your team cannot follow you unless you give them the map. Without proper directions, you are on a road to nowhere. The clarity you will bring to your team will allow them to follow your vision. The team would know where you would want to go and you can set the goal. To be a great leader with clarity is powerful. It will not be a hindrance for you to know how far you will travel when you see the path in front of you. Number three, they see opportunity, not the obstacle. A lot of people fail at work and in life because they focus too much on the obstacle rather than the opportunity. To become a great leader, you would need to move forward and take on new challenges that will stretch you and your team to become resilient which creates more chances for opportunities ahead. When everyone sees the problem, great leaders work on the problem until they find the opportunity. Number four, leaders show up on time. Great leaders tend to show up on time. Arriving to work on time can help you set a good example for your colleagues. By being punctual, You can show that you are committed and responsible in your work, all of which are traits of a great leader. It can also help you appear more professional, lower your anxiety, and may result in several other benefits. Displaying great qualities of leadership can help you get raises and promotions and advance your career. Remember, showing up on time and prepared can put you ahead of most other leaders. Number five, they develop their strengths. Most of us want to fix our weaknesses, but we often tend to lose ourselves in the middle. 
especially when we have no idea how to overcome them. However, great leaders spend most of their time developing their strengths and doing their best which allows them to apply it in their workplace, while simultaneously managing their shortcomings. By understanding their strengths, they can focus more clearly on what they are good at. Leaders are also able to use this skill to identify strengths in others. Mastering these leadership traits is a great deal that will prepare you to confidently face any situation, including ones totally new to you. Number six, they develop a trusted inner circle. Many leaders struggle because they don't have a positive inner circle. Remember, it is important to have someone on your side that has ambitious plans and meaningful purposes that will help you succeed. Great leaders never lead alone, so they develop a trusted inner circle where they would want to be surrounded by people that will make them better instead of holding them back. Your chances of being successful and reaching your potential will increase when you have a good inner circle filled with people that align with your goals and would want you to succeed. You need people that can advise and support you while you are on your journey to success. Number seven, they take full responsibility. The best leaders take full responsibility even when it's not their fault. As much as they are responsible for their team's success, they should also be responsible for any shortcomings that come ahead. They represent the whole team, so whatever happens, they are the one responsible. That can surely be hard to do, but great leaders know that taking full responsibility doesn't cause people to blame you. It causes people to trust and connect with you. The next time you're in the middle of a crisis, as a leader, you wouldn't want to deflect, underestimate people, or nitpick about whose fault it was. Instead, take full responsibility, present a solution, get to work, and don't make the same mistake again. Regardless of any position that you may have in the company, true leaders mark themselves by their ability to envision, motivate, and support their teams towards success. They are not just managers. They are innovators who inspire others to join them on their mission towards a common goal. There is always room to become a great leader. Interest, commitment, and continuous learning will develop you as a leader to become the best leader there is.